Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Train Sim World 3. And it might have escaped your attention, but it's very soon going to be Christmas. And Dovetail, I've not let this go by without uh, giving us something to celebrate. And that is in the form of a new DLC, which has just been released today. This is the Holiday Express Runaway Elf. And uh, thank you for Dovetail for sending this to me so that I can uh, show this to you as a, as a first look. Now, it is a first look for the channel. Uh, I have been on and uh, played several of the scenarios that, that come with it. But I've left the most difficult one to last. And we'll do that now during this first look. So let's have a look first what we get. So if we go into Choose Route, here is the Holiday Express Runaway Elf says experience the joy of the festive season with trains in world the holiday express runaway elf drive a model locomotive around the nostalgic 1980s living room and complete unique challenges before christmas morning arrives can you stop the mischievous elf from ruining the big day well we'll give it a go now uh, let's have a look um you can see i've done 7.2 miles so far with this dlc which is surprising there are some collectibles which are in the form of sort of gold coins. There's 20 of those. I seem to have got 18 along the way. Uh, but without further ado, so there's no timetable with this. So what you are getting with this pack is uh, seven scenarios. That is it. Seven scenarios. And also there is um, a scenario planner functionality with this as well. So you can bring in your other trains from your other... TSW3 DLCs into this route, into the living room route, which I haven't tried yet, but sounds quite interesting. Or maybe run another of those before Christmas. So let's have a look at the scenarios. You can see the ones I've completed the Lost Toys, Batteries Not Included, the North Call, the Breakfast Hub, Try Hard. <sighs> is that a reference to Die Hard, which everybody says is a Christmas film, but it isn't? You can put it in the comments below if you disagree with me. <laughs> Short circuit. And uh, the one at the bottom, which is rated, look at all the red at the bottom one. Plight of the Navigator. That's the one we're going to do today. That's 25 minutes. So these are the timings. What is that? Is that about 90 minutes play time? So the price of this is, if you're in the UK, 7 99 or whatever your equivalent currency is for 7.99 uk pounds uh, this plight of the navigator is time to add to the festive feel using the train collect some letter blocks and spell out a happy message for all to see so let's get started look at all the red fingers crossed look at these blocks they don't say anything useful. Please move them around so they say something truthful. Okay. Switch the cars back and forth so they're in the right order. Hopefully the elf won't have time to create more disorder. So it looks like we're going to do some switching. And... Uh, we're going to put these in the correct order so you can already see what it's going to say. But uh, whilst we're in here, let's have a let's have a quick look round. This is the this is the living room. There's actually some. Let me go and try this. There's some really good stuff over here. Let me uh, let me see if I can show you this. If I can turn this on, I don't know if in this scenario if this uh, little console will work. But there is something pretty neat comes up on the TV. Let me switch this on. Look at that 8-bit TSW. How cool is that? <laughs> Looks like that. Is that the 166? It's not on Great Western Express though, is it? It could be the 166, that. That is pretty cool. I've got to admit, that is pretty cool. We'll leave that running, actually. Uh, there's various other bits and pieces in here. You can can you see these these little walkways? Let me just show you. We will get to the mission. I might not get a gold medal, but if I go up here, you, 
you can take a lift and you can go up to all these different levels. So let me go in here. Let's click the card void lift. So all this is uh, interactive. You can walk around. You, you don't just need to drive the train. Um, so there's lots to explore. So though there's 90 minutes of actual gameplay in the scenarios, you can free roam. We'll come up right next to the TV. Here we go. So here's the 8-bit TSW. I still think that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, you can you can go up all these different, you know, up the lifts across these little. Uh, that's like plastic uh, diecast car track, isn't it? That everybody had one of those, didn't they? One of those tracks. Uh, there's there's plenty of places to explore. Essentially, you can you can sort of run up the skateboard, go onto these chairs, across the table. Uh, this has a seat that flicks down. You press a button there, and the seat flicks over. Uh, a kind of like a leg support and you can run across onto this chair as well so yeah it's pretty neat uh now if you're a nervous disposition and you get a feeling of depth be careful you can jump off here and uh, you just float down but it can put your heart in your mouth when you do that anyway let's jump into the train now you'll recognize the train and the fire is crackling away there in the background the train is the F7, which we've seen on Clinchfield. Not in this livery, of course. But that's where we first saw the F7, wasn't it? And then Cajon Pass, of course, we had a DLC for the F7. All right, so we need to go via the location, Sofa Station. So we do. let's look at the map, because we do need to take uh, a view of the points in case we go wrong. You can see the track is... There's, there's, a, there's a bit of track. There's a bit of track. Distance-wise, it's not very long, but there is a bit to do switching-wise. Let's make sure we can actually get over to Sofa Station. So the points look good. Sofa stations there. This is a go via as well. Now this is interesting. So you've got you've got some of the controls from the F7. The bright lights are on. The not so bright lights. <laughs> Number lights are on. Okay, so you, you don't have the you know you don't have all the functionality that you do in the real F7 DLC. Um, but if you just put it into forward, you can see a big break, all effort gone. That's releasing the brakes. Um, let's just put some power in. It's a simplified, a simplified version of the control, so you know you don't have to cut the brakes in or anything like that. It's all ready to go. Rip and roar, as it were. Let's look outside. <laughs> So sofa station is under that table, between the sofa and the table, and that's where we're headed. So this this is a cheap bit of DLC. It's actually it's actually good fun. So far, I wanted to jump in and do some of the scenarios first because I wanted to have a good look at it, uh, and then I was a bit more informed when I made this video. That's the reason why I've, I've run some some of them. I also didn't want to spoil it. If you're picking this up, I didn't want to actually show all the scenarios to you uh, because I wanted you to discover it for yourself. Now, this this will will be your cup of tea. Uh, this is a go via, isn't it? I don't need to stay. Let me put some power back in. This will either be your cup of tea or it isn't. Uh, I don't mind it. It's completely different <laughs> to what we're used to. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it is Christmas, uh, it is a bit of fun, and this isn't the way that the DLCs are going to go permanently in the future, so don't worry. We're not going to have different rooms in the house, we're not going to have the bathroom uh, model railway or anything like that anytime soon. So yeah, if you treat it as a bit of fun, and if you've got young kids, it's maybe something you can sit and, uh, and play with the kids. Whilst you have some time off this Christmas, I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be really good. 
I have quite enjoyed it actually. I really, I said in the preview video that I did when the announcement was made, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, but I had good fun with this last night. Especially the exploring part. I went round the whole room on foot. I know we did a little bit of it just then. But I did the whole room. And I went up everywhere that I could, everywhere I could go. Up high, turned the Christmas tree on, turned it off, because everything's interactive. Um, and I don't want to bump these too hard. Let's go back into the cab view. It's asking us to gently bump into the blocks to connect them. So, of course, this has got automatic connectors. We don't have to go out and uncouple these. Or couple them, I should say. A little bit of force on the back will... Uh, will do the needful. Now, what I didn't check was the points. I'm assuming it's going to put us to the right place. There we go. Excellent. Using the small brake, switch the cars in and out of the dooryard to arrange them into the correct order. Okay. Now, I don't know where the dooryard is. Is the dooryard over there? Or is that the dooryard? To change the track, open the 2D map, click on the triangles till they match the indicated blue line. Yeah, I think most of us know that by now, don't we? But it's nice as a as a reminder for anybody that's new. So for this, you will just need the base game. That's all you need. You need the base game, TSW3, and of course you need the uh, the DLC as well. Let's just check these switches. So that one needs to go there, uh, that one there, and let's turn that one to there. So yeah, there is a there is a little yard. This must be the back door. Now I don't see the elf at the moment. The elf is around somewhere. Is he up there? Sometimes up there. I did capture him last night, and you'll see in the thumbnail, I actually caught him and put him on the back of the train, and uh, sort of blasted off in the train with uh, the elf on the back, which was quite fun. That's the thumbnail you can see for this video. But let's go to the yard. Now, if you hate switching, if you play the US routes and you absolutely hate switching, <laughs> come and do this. Get used to how switching works. You might find then that you enjoy switching operations from then on. Uh, I'm just worried about the braking because the braking is very, shall we say, not as responsive as I'm used to. And I don't want to go off the end. What will happen if you go off the end? There's no actual buffers there, you know. I'm not going to risk it. Go on. Go on. Go on. There we go. Brilliant. To uncouple the cars, pull the coupler lock lever between the cars to be uncoupled. Alright. Which is that. Now we need to stop in the location fireplace, so let's get it in reverse. Breaks off. Now we came from the fireplace, so the points should be good, but we'll check them. Let's put that in power 2. Let's have a look. Yep, I think we're good. Straight back to the fireplace. So as we saw at the beginning, this is labelled as the hardest scenario out of all seven that you get. Probably because it's switching and there are multiple occasions for this to go wrong. It looks like we're going to use this yard area to just keep going backwards and forwards to, uh, to line up the, uh, the blocks to give the proper message. 
Let's take the power off. Put the brakes in. Excellent. So now stopping in dooryard three. So before we move, always check the points. Uh, and we're going to the right of where we were before. So I've changed the reverser again back to forwards. So let's use the camera views. see on this uh, blackboard the elf's been around Santa smells I think the elf's definitely not getting any presents this time there's little things to look for that's actually back to front isn't it sounds of steam that's it but there are uh, book covers on the shelves um, your know, train spotting books uh, which are quite interesting so there is there is actually a lot to see up above as well as driving the trains. Let's take that off and then I think we're gonna go back to the fireplace, which we are. And once again we're going back where we started so the points should be good. But good practice says we don't leave it to chance. Looks okay to me. So this one is a 25 minute scenario. That is the recommended time. At least. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Are you, have you already picked this up? Have you been playing it? Is it something you fancy? 7 99 it is. might start to help you get Christmassy if Christmas is your thing it's worth it just for the 8-bit TSW uh, no that's not the PS4 version before anyone says I'm not going there <laughs> all right so we are now going to <laughs> couple to the formation RY IST and CHR so let's put it in forwards we'll uh, check these points off that crackling of that fire is actually quite relaxing just listen to that very nice it's actually quite a cosy room isn't it this it's a very American room I would say it's definitely not a UK room. Given the fact we've got this loco, then uh, it's definitely not UK. But if this, uh, you know, being as we can use all our other DLCs with this, uh, you, you know if you've watched this channel for long enough, you will quite soon see a class 150 on this route. So that's my uh, go-to train of choice for testing out routes with the scenario planner uh, and let me put some brakes in because this one is likely to uh, shoot off the end of the track if I'm not careful I'm assuming you can derail which is why the difficulty is set to red let's have a look so we have got, we've got re Isthmus. Right, so we've still got some more switching to do because that's not quite right yet, is it? Right, let's uh, go back to the fireplace. Got some weight now on the back. Do that slowly, actually. 
Let me don't wheel spin. Come on. There we go. There we go. So these blocks must be heavy. There was some physics going on there. We're definitely spinning. Right, so back to the fireplace we go. It's uh, three minutes after midnight, according to the clock. So hopefully all the humans are in bed. Right, let's put the brakes in. Now we're connected to the MER core, so... Straight forward. Breaks off. So the MER will give us Merry, and then we need to arrange these two. These two are in the wrong place currently. So we're nearly there. So we're probably going to go back to the fireplace, then back down this branch again. There we go. That one was a bit heavy, actually. Right, let's get these unhooked. And find the actual there it is back to the fireplace we go let's just put three notches of power in to begin with I think and take the strain you can see in the hood you can see the ball popping up and down slightly as it takes the grip Back to the fireplace then. We've got Mary already there. Here's a reversing view. So let's, uh, not that one, let's switch this one. Breaks off. So we're going to dooryard one this time. Uh, we'll drop this back section off. And then we should be nearly in business then. To be honest, it, it is quite fun. Um, I mean, really, Dovetail could do this, couldn't they? They don't just need to do this for Christmas, they could do it for any any event. I don't know how difficult this is to, uh, you know, to actually put together, but um, there is an idea, isn't there? And to, to, you know, on occasion, to just have a, a change from all the seriousness of the main game and just have some fun with it, you know? There's no pressure doing this. 
this DLC. Nobody's telling us there's a fence missing or that doesn't look right or, you know, <laughs> this is what it is. And that's sometimes a bit refreshing, isn't it, for a change, for a nice change. I actually think it's a really good idea. My only criticism would be, it's a shame it isn't longer. Uh, but I guess, I guess, you know, for this price point, it's meant to be just a quick in and out bit of fun. Something as a distraction to play over a week or two weeks whenever you're off at Christmas. And it's something that, you know, you might not play again till next year. And if you don't play it during the year, you'll probably look forward to it again. So let's get this ready to go. So that one is correct. That one needs switching, not that one, this one. Perfect, let's get it forwards. So we are coupling to the merry section of the train. That is relaxing that. It's very detailed as well, isn't it? I know I've not taken you over that side yet, but it's very detailed. It is very well made. What have we got? We've got Christmas here. We've got Merry over the other side. Oh, we've, we're, we're missing the part in the middle, aren't we, actually? We're missing the part in the middle. So I think we're going to have to uncouple here where the R is. Yep. And then pick up the other blocks we've got on the other track. And then we should be able to make the full phrase then. Right, let's get back to the fireplace. There's a definite difference in the physics. Uh, you know, the, the less you're actually pulling, even in this, I mean, I know in the real, it, what I'm calling the real TSW, the regular TSW, um, you would expect physics uh, based on weight. Um, it is actually doing it in this DLC as well. The lower the amount of blocks that I'm actually pulling, the easier it is to, to accelerate away. So all the usual physics seem to have been applied to this. It's not just what you can see. And... We'll go and pick up the uh, IST. We need to change the points. Which is that one. Yeah, so right away that gets going. No wheel spin. No wheel slip. In fact, it's quite easy to uh, overspeed with just three blocks on the back on the front actually as I should say let's put some brake in so I mean about the brake in the brake in is uh, it needs some getting used to keep either putting too little brake in or a bit too much but I don't think actually I've driven the F7 for quite some time if you're used to driving the F7 you play it quite a lot you'll probably be okay with this right so here we've got Isthmus so we just need to put it on there 
let's get it in reverse go back to the, f the fireplace that we pick up the rest of the train and I think our next visit to the fireplace after that we should be good It's a very novel idea, isn't it? A lot of players will play TSW because they are fans of train sets when they were younger. They may even be fans of model railways right now. Um, I mean, I used to have train sets when I was younger. I even had the, uh, the Hornby HST in Intercity livery. Now, I've never seen an HST in real life, but as a kid, I spent hours and hours and hours playing with the HST, the Hornby HST, uh, and you know, for me now, an HST being in TSW, that's always been a bit, it's always been a bit strange, for me. Um, and we need to go forwards. I need to concentrate now, right at the end. So you know, this this idea will appeal to a lot of people, I think. Right. Let's get this put together. Decent number of action points there up in the top right hand corner. Again, if you're, if you're interested in action points, I know not everybody is. But if you're uh, working towards some kind of achievement where you need to get the points, then uh, you, can, you can certainly rack up the points in a short space of time with this DLC too, so there is that. Um, if you are an achievement hunter, I believe there are three achievements as there are with most DLCs now. Uh, three achievements for this one. So look out for those. Let's get some brakes in. I do not want to derail it. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Did you see that? <laughs> oh dear me. That's what I mean about the braking. Right. Let's have no more disasters. I think all we have to do now is get back to the fireplace. And we're good. Let's take the strain. We are actually on a hill as well. If you look down at floor level, you can see it's uphill. We're actually on some blocks. So it is actually slightly more difficult for it to, uh, to come up the hill, but there we go, we're away. Let's look behind us. All the way back to the fireplace. And we should have our message. Breaks in. Don't want to go too far. Return to the table to admire your work. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, let's climb down the ladder, and we need to go up the skateboard. And this is the thing. Yeah, you know, as I said right at the beginning, you can you can kind of work your way around the whole room to most places just by looking for little ramps I mean you've got like top trumps here train trumps they're called rail rider skateboard <laughs> all little nods to things that you knew when you were a kid so let's get up on the table you see what I mean you can you can sort of go up all these little ramps and up and over and down and across to the Christmas tree and the track is all around the floor of the room it's quite good you got a board game here to explore let me just show you what I meant with the uh, the little seat that flicks out as well 
because I think there is a collectible over there normally and if you if you go there you see there's a big drop but if you press this see what I mean you can you can jump across so don't despair there is a way right let's go and admire our handiwork nice relaxing DLC isn't it let's have a look how we did Well done, your switching skills were just the right ticket. The blocks now add to the festive spirit. There we are. How's that? Not too bad. And that is it as a first look. Hope you enjoyed it. It took us 32 minutes, 32 minutes 47. We did a little bit more exploring than you were meant to do. As part of the uh, as part of the scenario itself, so um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're going to pick it up, and um, yeah, let me know in the comments um, if this is something you you fancy, something you wait for a sale, or something you're just not interested in, perhaps because there will be some of you out there that uh, are not are not too bothered about it. But hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, give me a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I will see you all on the next one. Bye for now.